can learn from these exchanges because you can't just find debates and arguments in books here and there. So this is a very fertile ground in which open, yeah, yeah, you can record, fertile ground in, in which, you know, like certain celebrities, they come here, like this gentleman here, um, <laughs> and people engage in discussion. So, so we are Muslims, we are Muslims, we take the opportunity to convey the people about our purpose in life because you know as young people like yourselves what do your friends your colleagues your peers just be happy do whatever you want to be and be yourself express yourself they will not want to tell you about the elephant in the room which is you and i are going to die one day they will not want to talk about death at all that don't you know, destroy your life by going to this rock and roll and taking this drugs and whatever might be, whatever makes you happy, right? People do it legally and illegally, behind doors and openly and public and so on. There is a whole system in place where people will not tell you, but you and I are going to die one day, right? Do you know where we're going to go when we die? What's going to happen to us? No one is asking you to think. So what we would want people to say, look, you are not an animal, you are more than an animal. You are given a faculty of intellect where you can think critically, you can reason, you can differentiate between truth and falsehood, right and wrong. You see, animals don't care when they want to have a sexual relationship. Human beings, we can't do that. I mean, no man can come and force on you and say, let me have sex with you. That will be considered rape outside your consent. So what we are saying is there are various things that people don't think. They go by the flow. The idea of morality, for example. What is... Yeah, so this is... No, no, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm saying... What I'm saying is this is what we talk about to reignite people's critical thinking. Don't just go with the flow. Think about your purpose of life. Think about the one who gave you life. Is the creator of this universe. And why you die? Because you have a purpose to fulfill. Because at the end of the day, death is not the end of life. There is going to be another life God will bring us back to where we will have to account for whether we believed truly or not and did good things, righteous things or not. So what the message of Islam is simply to acknowledge and worship this God that created us and follow the will of this God expressed through his final messenger, Prophet Muhammad Islam, and then we will be saved from the hellfire. Simple as that, rather than simply going by going to rock and roll and discos and nightclubs and so on, because that's not going to help us in our journey in the next life, because there will be a journey. Yeah? Thank you very much. Take care. Bye.